Today we summit Mount Bierstadt. Subscribe to American Explorer. Mount Bierstadt is a mountain peak in the front range of Colorado's Rocky Mountains. Situated about an hour drive from Denver, the trailhead is located about nine miles south of Georgetown off the Guanella Pass Road, easily accessible off Highway 70. Bierstadt's height of 14,065 feet puts it just into Colorado's famed 14ers Club. A 14er is just a nickname for mountains with a summit of 14,000 feet or more. As far as 14ers go, Bierstadt is on the easier side and often comes recommended as a first time 14er. The out and back hike takes you along a 7.8 mile trail that winds up the mountain with an elevation gain of 2,765 feet. Mount Bierstadt is named after the famous American landscape painter, Albert Bierstadt. It was officially named after him in 1914. In 1863, Albert Bierstadt visited the area and is thought to have climbed Mount Evans and its nearby neighbor, the unnamed Bierstadt. There's a theory that he made the first double ascent of the two peaks, but records are too vague to be sure. His paintings construe an awe in the power of the Rocky Mountain landscape particularly his painting, Storm in the Rocky Mountains, which was inspired by Bierstadt's time in the area. Although he is credited with the first documented ascent, the first true ascent is lost to time. It could have been a mining prospector or one of the many Native Americans who lived in this region centuries prior. Another interesting story is the history of Mount Bierstadt's neighbor, Mount Evans. Albert Bierstadt originally called this peak Mount Rosalie in the late 1800s. It was named after Rosalie Osborne. At the time, she was married to a famous explorer, but perhaps swooned by Bierstadt's gesture in naming the peak after her, she eventually married the painter. The trail first takes you across a swampy mountain basin dotted with lakes and streams. A handy boardwalk will keep your feet dry, although a river crossing will threaten your dry socks. After the basin begins the long, steady climb up the mountain's flanks. The trail is very well marked, a map likely won't be needed. We climbed the mountain in early October, which can present certain challenges. We were lucky enough no major snow had yet fallen, but ice and snowpack was present. If you're hiking at altitude late or early in the season, spikes are a must. As always, with high elevation hikes, sunscreen and sunglasses are highly advised, and a buff or gaiter will help protect from windburn. From the summit of Bierstadt, you can also climb along the Sawtooth to reach Mount Evans. We deemed it too icy for us to attempt on this trip, but it's a very popular addition to the Bierstadt climb. Bierstadt's peak gives stunning horizon-to-horizon -horizon views of the surrounding landscape. It's no surprise a painter like Albert Bierstadt was drawn to this region. The way the light and dark carve the rock, clouds rolling from valley to valley. Bierstadt is quoted, saying, Truly all is remarkable in a wellspring of amazement and wonder. Man is so fortunate to dwell in this American Garden of Eden. Subscribe to American Explorer.